Happy hump day, everybody. It is Wednesday, June 17th. This is your CrossFit Cure at home workout. Today's workout is our heavy day. Um, we're doing heavy barbell work in the gym. It's gonna be bench press and overhead squats. So um, your workout today is gonna be a couple of six minute AMRAPs that are gonna work those same muscles. Um, but let's get started with our warm up first. We're gonna do four sets of the following movements. Uh, the first is a standing figure four stretch. So standing, you might wanna grab something to balance off because you're gonna bring, um, let's say we'll start with our right side, bring your right ankle up to your left knee, rest that on the knee, and then almost do like a, a bit of a good morning. You're gonna make the shape of a four, um, soft bend to the knee, hinging forward, get a stretch through that glute and that hip, and then alternate, so five each side. Then we're gonna go 10 alternating single leg toe touch. So exactly what it sounds like, single leg. So get the other leg out of there. You can balance, hinge down, touch the toe, come back up, switch sides, five each side. 10 high knees, you can do them. Um, uh, the first two sets, I do these nice and slow. So just bringing your knees nice and high, as high as you can get them. 10 butt kickers, bring the heel right up underneath your, uh, underneath your hips, underneath your butt. Knees gonna go forward in those. And then 15 sit-ups, um, anchored or ab mat sit-ups, however you guys wanna do these ones. Okay, so four sets of that. Nice, quick, easy warm up. Um, we can get right into our work for our heavy day today. Our first six minute AM wrap. Low repetitions, so our goal is to get, uh, or sorry, low repetitions in each round. So our goal is to get a lot of rounds here. So two overhead lunges. So um, these should be weighted. You can grab a couple dumbbells, stick them right up overhead. Okay, our goal here on this is that we're not arched back or lean forward. We want our arms right up next by our ears and then stepping into that lunge, brace. Brace through your abs here, okay? Lock those shoulders out, push your hands into the ceiling, um, knuckles up on these. At the bottom, remember our, uh, our knee should be over our front heel so we don't want our heel way in or way too far out. Uh, our other knee that's right below us should actually be directly below the hip so we want a nice straight line from that back knee all the way up into our shoulders up into our hands wrinkle in here on this amrap six every minute on the minute starting at zero so you are going to start with six up down so quick bodybuilders bodybuilders as fast as you can down and up six and then get into your round um, so you're going to repeat that six times um, and then just move through the other repetitions as many times as you can in that remaining time you have in that minute. After the six minute AMRAP, record your rounds and reps. Um, I think I put two scores in here for this one, you guys. Um, so then rest two minutes, don't rest any less, don't rest any more than that. Keep that clock rolling, two minutes rest, and then we're gonna go into our second six minute AMRAP, which is the following. Four push-ups. We can do um, these at whatever scale we want. So we can do like hand release or we can do standard knee push-ups, elevated push-ups. Make it something that you can consistently get through four quickly. Then we're gonna do four side to side mountain climbers. So in that plank position, just like a mountain climber, but instead of bringing one leg up at a time, we are hopping our legs up to one side, back into the plank, hop our legs up to the other side, back. So four of those. Every minute on the minute in this one, you're going to perform eight bicycle crunches. So get on your back. Hi, Megan. Get on your back, you guys. Um, bicycle crunches is gonna be alternating legs coming up. And uh, we have our hands behind our head here, behind our neck, and it's gonna be opposite. I don't want you to think opposite elbow to opposite knee. Lead with the shoulder. So opposite shoulder to opposite knee. Your elbow is gonna touch, but I don't want you to lead with that elbow because you're gonna round your back. So we're really trying to crunch here, get uh, the oblique. So lead with that shoulder on these. Okay, eight bicycle crunches every minute on the minute. Um, six minute AMRAP. Again, record your rounds and reps here, you guys. That is your heavy day workout. All right, so let's get into our cool down for today. Cool down is another six minute AMRAP, alternating walking lunge with a twist. This one is great. Um, step down into that front stepping lunge, opposite, whichever knees forward, I want you to twist the opposite arm across over that knee and back and then switch sides walking if you've got the space, otherwise you can just do these in place. 30 seconds doorway stretch each arm, so go up to a doorway. Um, you can put your hand fully extended up. I like to um, put my elbow on the door and do a tricep stretch here or if you just wanna do it as a chest opener, 
You can also just put your arm straight out against the doorway and stretch away from that. 30 seconds each arm and then 10 wall squats. So get maybe a forearms distance away from the wall. Our goal here is to keep our chest really upright, send our hips down and back, push our knees out and not touch the wall as we squat down. If you can step in a little closer, go ahead. If you need to step out a little further away, um, that's okay too. But nice and slow, let's do a tempo, like three seconds down, um, maybe a one second pause at the bottom and then one second up to the top and then maybe a one second pause as well. Nice and slow. I really want you to focus not on getting through the squats, but doing the squats well. Our accessory work is all about the abs and the glutes today. Um, so we are gonna do 20 seconds. Uh, you can use a Tabata clock if you want because it's gonna be 20 seconds work, 10 seconds of rest on this all the way three times through. 20 seconds of toe touch crunches. So laying on our back, doing crunches, coming up and touching the tops of our toes and back down. We will rest for 10 seconds. Then we're gonna go 20 seconds alternating heel touch crunches. So um, go into a crunch, on one side, touch the heel, come back down, crunch, touch the other heel, okay? 10 seconds rest, 20 seconds Russian twists, just like we always do with these. You can do them with uh, bent knees up in the air, with your feet bent, knees bent, feet on the floor, or with legs straight out, rotating side to side for 20 seconds, 10 seconds rest, and then we're gonna lay down onto our back, 20 seconds single leg glute bridge right, so right leg right up next to your hip, pushing those hips up really high, squeezing the glute and hamstring. Um, doing single leg, you're not gonna be able to get as much range of motion as you can with both legs, but that's okay, because it's gonna be a little more strength. And then 10 seconds rest, and then we'll finish with 20 seconds single leg on the left side. And then you can rest a little longer between these three sets if you'd like, or you can rest 10 seconds and keep on rolling. Uh, that's your accessory work today. Enjoy it, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.